a Christmas novena honoring the birth of Jesus to be prayed daily from December 16 through December 24th. Eternal Father, I offer you this day, join my sacrifices, my crosses, my sorrows and my joys to the birth of Jesus, your Son, our Saviour. Through him, through this offering, may more people come to know you better and love you more. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, accept my disappointments of today, and unite them with the hardships endured by Mary and Joseph in their long and tiring journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Help me to understand and to know better your will for me, so that I may walk in the footsteps of Jesus and lead others to you through him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the faith of Mary and Joseph, as they walk the streets of Bethlehem in search of shelter. Increase my faith, Make my every day an act of faith in your love for me, in your will for me. Let me live with faith as the cornerstone of my life, so that others may come to believe in you and him whom you sent to save us all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the suffering of Jesus' birth, the poverty he accepted, the cold he bore, the obscurity he welcomed. Give us a love of poverty and an even greater love for the poor. Hide me from the recognition, the acclaim of the world. Cover me with the humility of Jesus so that my works in this world will glorify you in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the childlike joy of the shepherds and the constancy of the wise men. May I bring others the good news of Jesus' birth through the quality of my life. May I share with all I meet in this world the incomparable happiness of your love for mankind as shown through the gift of your only Son. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ was born and lives among us. Let us pray. Merciful and loving Father, you gave us the surest sign of your love for us all in the person of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us who prepare to share in the joy of the celebration of his birth to illumine the world by our faith in him and our love for each other. Amen. Consecration to Baby Jesus Dearest, sweetest baby Jesus, Thou left the splendor of heaven and came down to earth and was born in a humble stable with ox and sheep for company. Thou who art God became man and lived among us. Allow thyself to be subjected to the temptations of the evil one. The betrayal of friends, the denial of chosen ones, the mockery of men who refused to accept thee as the Messiah, and a cruel death on the cross. Dearest Jesus, what can I, a poor sinner, offer to thee? I can give thee my poor heart. It is not a fit dwelling place for thee, but I am confident that thou wilt not refuse my humble invitation to take residence in my heart. I desire, dearest Jesus, that thou resides as the king of my heart and the master of my life. 
and I shall serve thee, who lives and reigns with the Almighty Father in heaven, in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus, descendant of King David, rules now over the church, the messianic temple on earth. He is ruling and will rule forever over the church triumphant in heaven. My dear friends, in the first two weeks of this holy season of Advent, we focus on Jesus' second coming, when he will come again, as he said, to judge the living and the dead. The readings during this time of Advent invite us to watch and be prepared, for we do not know the day or the time when the Lord will come. He will come back as a righteous and just judge. He will come as the Lion of the tribe of Judah to subdue his enemies and those who have been persecuting his followers. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will separate his sheep, his followers, and feed them in green pastures. My dear friends, Jesus is our chief shepherd, our high priest, our Lord and Master. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became flesh. That is, he came into this world to live with us. Jesus is the Emmanuel, God with us, who was born to die for us and save the world from the clutches of sin and Satan. He came as a lamb without blemish to die for us and wash away our sins with his precious blood so that we may be healed and reconciled with one another and with our heavenly Father. Jesus is our light and our salvation. He is the reason for the joyful season of Christmas. As we worship and adore Jesus, our Saviour and King, with hearts that are humble and contrite, let us love the Lord this Christmas and welcome him into our hearts and homes and community. God bless you. Like this.